Hi friends, welcome to my channel The Art Zone. Today I have come up with a new video of this old shape table runner. It is about 27 inches long and 17 inches wide. Pattern is quite simple. I hope you'll enjoy this video. So let's start the video. Before starting the video, I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell button and give your suggestion in the comment section. Let's begin with the video. We need about 166 grams yarn. We are going to make this runner with medium weight number 4 cotton yarn. First of all, we will make a slip knot. After making the slip knot, now we will make the chains. We will make 43 chains and if you want to make it bigger, you can increase chains in multiple of 5. I will start the project with 43 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Forty one, forty two, and forty three. First of all, we'll make forty three chains. After making forty three chains, now yarn over, then skip next five chains one, two, three, four, five. Then insert the hook in chain six and make a double crochet. Next chain, double crochet. And next chain double crochet first of all we'll make first three double crochet after making first three double crochet now make two chains one two then skip next two chains one two then insert the hook in chain three make a double crochet next chain double crochet next chain double crochet after making three double crochet Make two chains, one, two, then skip next two chains, then insert the hook in chain three, and make next three double crochet. One, next chain double crochet two, and next chain double crochet three. We have to repeat this pattern. Let's keep doing with this pattern until we reach to the end of this row. We are at the end of this row after making 3 double crochet, make 2 chains, yarn over, then skip next 2 chains, insert the hook in chain 3 and make a double crochet, then next chain double crochet, and here we have the last chains. So we will make last double crochet from here. This pattern we will make last 3 double crochet. With this pattern we have completed first row after making last three double crochet now I'll make five chains one two three four five then insert the hook in same chain and make a slip stitch like this this pattern we have completed first row and now make three chains one two three this is chain will be counted as a first double crochet then yarn over now insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet and make a double crochet then next chain double crochet after making first three double crochet next we have the chain space we'll make chain space with two chains and jump to the next group of double crochet and make a double crochet in each chain one next chain double crochet two and next chain double crochet three we have to repeat this pattern all around just make three double crochet then make two chains 
one two then here we have the next three double crochet make a double crochet in each chain one two three then make two chains skip the chain space jump to the next three double crochet and make a double crochet one two three keep doing in this pattern until we reach to the next corner you are at the next corner after making three double crochet make two chains here we have last three double crochets we'll make a double crochet in each chain one two and three after making this three double crochet then next you can see this here we have the chain space for this first of all make two chains yarn over the insert the hook into the chain space and make two double crochet one and make one more double crochet in same chain space two then make two chains and again make two double crochet in same chain space for this pattern we will make five loops of two double crochet with two chains two then again make two chains make two double crochet one two then make two chains Two double crochet in same chain space one two then make two chain and make last two double crochet in same chain space one and make one more double crochet in same chain space two you can see this with this pattern you'll make two double crochet two chains 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 in last two double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. We'll make five groups of two double crochet. After making last two double crochet, now make two chains. Then next we have the three double crochets. We'll make a double crochet in each chain. One into first chain, one into second chain, one into third chain. After making three double crochet. Next pattern will remain same. Just make two chains, one, two, and make three double crochet. One, two, three. Then make two chains. Jump to the next three double crochet. Then make three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet until we reach to the next corner. We are at the next corner here we have the next chain space after making last three double crochet make two chains insert the hook into the chain space and again make five groups of two double crochet with two chains two double crochet two chains two double crochet one two two chains Two double crochet, one, two, two chains, two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet, one, two. This pattern will make. One, two, three, four, five. Five groups of two double crochet. Then make two chains. One, two, and here we have first three double crochet. So insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch. Then cut the yarn because we have to change the color. pattern we have completed the inner part of the runner first of all make a slip knot and now you can see this here we have the spaces between each group of double crochet so insert the hook 
into the chain space you can take any chain space and first of all make a single crochet and two chains a single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet so we'll make two more double crochet in same chain space one two after making first three double crochet make two chains jump to the next chain space and make three double crochet in next chain space one two three After making three double crochet, make two chains, three double crochet, then again make two chains and jump to the next chain space and make three double crochet. One, two, three. Then make two chains. And you can see this. Here we have the chain space between next two groups of three double crochet. We'll make three double crochet one two three this pattern we'll make one two three four these four groups of three double crochet then next we have these chain spaces so insert the hole into this chain space and again make three double crochet one two three two chains jump toward the next group of uh, next chain space and make two double three double crochet one two three two chains here we have the next chain space between this two group of two double crochet so make three double crochet as well We have to just make three double crochet in each chain space. Two chains, three double crochet. One, two, three. Then make two chains. Jump to the next group of double crochet. And make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Then next. Two chains, three double crochet in next chain space. One, two, three. Two chains, next chain space, three double crochet. One, two, three. Two chains, next chain space, three double crochet. Keep doing with this pattern. Make three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet in each chain space. And when we will reach to the next corner, we'll again make three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet. We'll again make three double crochet in each chain space and complete the round. So we are at the end of this round. After making last three double crochet, make two chains, then insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch then cut the yarn in this pattern we have completed one two three three rounds and now we are going to start round four First of all, make a slip knot, insert the hook into the next chain space, and make a single crochet. Then make two chains, single crochet, and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet. Make two more double crochet in same chain space. 
one, two. Then make two chains, jump to the next chain space, make three double crochet, one, two, three. Then make two chains and jump to the next chain space, make three double crochet, one, two, three, two chains, next chain space, three double crochet, one, two, three. Then next, you can see this, here we have the chain space from where we have made the previous two double crochet. For this, first of all make two chains, yarn over, then make two double crochet into this chain space. One, two. Then next, make a double crochet in next chain. Then here we have the second double crochet, insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet and make a double crochet. Into this point, you can see this, here we have the previous two double crochet into this chain space, you will make two double crochet, then make two double crochet from next, two double crochet, then make two chains, one, two, then skip last double crochet and jump toward the second chain space and again make two double crochet, one, Two, insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet, make a double crochet, then next chain double crochet. After making four double crochet, make two chains, skip last double crochet, then insert the hook in third chain space and again make two double crochet, one, two. Then make a double crochet in top chain of next double crochet, then make one double crochet in second chain this pattern we'll make four groups of double crochet then make two chains after making four double crochet again make two chains then skip last double crochet and jump to the next chain space and again make two double crochet one two then make a double crochet in first chain and double crochet in second chain like this then make two chains skip last double crochet then insert the hook in fifth chain space and again make two double crochet in chain space one two then jump to the next double crochet make a double crochet in first double crochet and double crochet in second double crochet with this pattern we'll make five groups of four double crochet one two three four five after making this five groups of double crochet now just make two chain skip last double crochet and jump toward the next chain space and just make three double crochet one two three two chains then jump toward the next chain space and make three double crochet one two three then make two chains next chain space three double crochet one two three keep doing with this pattern make two chains three double crochet 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 then make two chains and three double crochet into this chain space and again from this point we will make four groups of five groups of four double crochet from here after completing this I will tell you that what we have to do next in eight groups of three double crochet then in next chain space you can see this here we have these two double crochet so into this chain space insert the hook and make first two double crochet one two then yarn over now insert the hook into next double crochet make a double crochet then in second chain make a double crochet after making four double crochet 
made two chains, skip last double crochet, then jump to the next chain space and again repeat the pattern, make two double crochet into the chain space, insert the hook and first chain, make a double crochet, second chain, double crochet, then make two chains, skip last double crochet, then insert the hook into next chain space and again make two double crochet, then make two double crochet, one and make one double crochet in next chain two after making four group of four double crochet make two chains then jump to the next chain space and again make two double crochet into the chain space one double crochet in first chain and one double crochet in second chain then again make two chains and jump to the next chain space make two double crochet from here one two then make one double crochet in first chain and one double crochet in second chain with this pattern you will make one two three four five five groups of four double crochet the remaining pattern will be same just make two chains three double crochet in next chain space one two three two chains then make three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet we are at the end of round four after making last three double crochet make two chain and insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch in this pattern we have completed four rounds and now we are going to start round 5 for round 5 insert the hook in next chain make a slip stitch then in third chain make a slip stitch and next we have the chain space make a slip stitch and now make 3 chains 1 2 3 this chain will become as a first double crochet make 2 more double crochet in same chain space 1 2 after making first 3 double crochet 2 chains 3 double crochet in next chain space 1 2 3 then make 2 chains 3 double crochet in next chain space 1 2 3 then make 2 chains and now you can see this here we have these four double crochet so insert the hook into this chain space and make two double crochet one two the next we have these four double crochet make a double crochet in first chain double crochet in second chain and double crochet in third chain with this pattern in this round we will make 5 double crochet instead of 4 because we because will increase a double crochet in each round after making 5 double crochet make 2 chains and skip last double crochet then jump to the next chain space and again make 2 double crochet into this chain space 1 2 then make next 3 double crochet with this pattern we will make 5 double crochet after making 5 double crochet skip last double crochet then make 2 chains and jump to the next chain space make 2 double crochet into the chain space then next we have 4 double crochet make a double crochet in each chain 1 2 3 then skip last double crochet now make 2 chains and jump to the next group of the sorry chain space and make first 2 double crochet then make a double crochet in first chain double crochet in second chain double crochet in third chain then skip last double crochet again make two chains here we have the last group of double crochet so we'll make two double crochet into this chain space one 
two then make a double crochet in first chain the double crochet in second chain and double crochet in third chain after making last five double crochet you can see this again you make one two three four five five groups of five double crochet with two chains after making this this pattern will remain same just make two chains three double crochet in each chain space here we have the chain space so we make two three double crochet one two three then make two chains three double crochet one two Three, two chains. Jump to the next double chain space. Make three double crochet. One, two, three. Keep doing with this pattern until we reach to the second last chain space. And when we reach to the next chain space, again we will make two double crochet into this chain space. Then make a three double crochet from here. Skip last double crochet, make two chains, and make two double crochet in next chain space. We have to repeat this pattern and complete the round. You can see this. We have completed two rounds with white color. Make two chains. Now insert the hook in chain three and join the slip stitch. And now we are going to start round three. Make a slip stitch, next chain, slip stitch, and jump to the next chain space. Make a slip stitch, then make first three chains. This chain will be considered the first double crochet after making first three chains. Now insert the hook into same chain space and make two more double crochet. One, two. With this pattern, you will make first three double crochet. Two chains, next chain space, three double crochet. One, two, three, two chains, and next here we have five double crochet. So insert the hook into this chain space and make two double crochet. One, two. After making two double crochet, insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet, make double crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, and insert the hook in second last chain. Make a double crochet in this round. We'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, six double crochet. After making six double crochet, skip last double crochet. Then make two chains. Insert the hook in next chain space and repeat the pattern. Make two double crochet into the chain space. Then next double crochet. Next, double crochet, double crochet, and double crochet. In this pattern, we'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, six double crochet. Then skip last double crochet, make two chains, then jump toward the next chain space, and again make two double crochet into the chain space. Then make next four double crochet, skip last double crochet. This pattern will make five groups of one, two, three, four, five, six, six double crochet in this round. One, two, three, four, five. After making this five groups of six double crochet, just make two chains, three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet in each chain space. And when we will reach to the next side, again we'll make two double crochet, then make four double crochet, skip last double crochet, then make two chains and jump to the next chain space and repeat this pattern. Just keep doing with this pattern and complete round 3 and with the same pattern we will make 5 more rounds. We will increase a double crochet in each round. After completing 8 rounds, I will tell you that what we have to do next. We have completed 8 rounds with white color. We are at the end of first 
group of double crochet so we'll make two double crochet into this chain space then make remaining double crochet Now insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch. You can see this. This pattern we have completed eight rounds with white color. At the end of round eight, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven double crochet. After completing this round, now cut the yarn. Now first of all make a slip knot then you can see this here we have these chain spaces so insert the hook into the chain space and first of all make a single crochet then make two chains single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet make two more double crochet in the same chain space then make two chains jump to the next chain space make three double crochet one two three then make two chains and next we have first group of double crochet so into this chain space We'll make two double crochet one two then make a double crochet in each chain and skip last double crochet this pattern you'll we'll make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve double crochet after making 12 double crochet make 2 chains then skip last double crochet insert the hook in second chain space and again make 2 double crochet then make 1 double crochet in each chain skip last double crochet then make 2 double crochet in second chain space then repeat the pattern just keep doing with this pattern and complete one round with pink color we are at the end of this round after making last three double crochet make two chains now insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch then cut the yarn this pattern we have completed this round you can see this and now we'll make the next round with orange color so first of all make a slip knot after making the slip knot now you can see this here we have these chain spaces so insert the hook in this chain space then make a single crochet and two chains single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet after making a double crochet into first chain space then next we have these three double crochet so make a double crochet in each chain one two Three. and here we have the chain space and make a double crochet into this chain space and jump to the next group of double crochet and make next double crochet one two three the next chain space make a double crochet then next make next three double crochet one two three we have to 
make the double crochet put this pattern the next chain space make a double crochet and make next three double crochet one two three then make a double crochet in the next chain space and make next three double crochet one two three after making last group three double crochet here we have the next chain space so into this chain space again we will make a double crochet then here we have next 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 here we have these 12 double crochets so we will make a double crochet in each chain 1 2 3 4 11 and here we have the top chain of last double crochet so we'll make two double crochet into this chain one and make one more double crochet in same chain two with this pattern we'll make 13 double crochet because we'll make two double crochet in last chain then here we have the chain space we'll just make a double crochet then next we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 double crochet. We we'll make a double crochet in each chain. 1, 2, 3, eleven, and make 2 double crochet in last chain. This pattern you will make 13 double crochet. Then next we have the chain space. We'll again make a double crochet. Then jump to the next 12 double crochet and make a double crochet in each chain. Then make two double crochet in last chain. Then here we have the chain space. So again we'll repeat this pattern. Make a double crochet. Then again next 13 double crochet. One double crochet. 13 double crochet in then chain the side after making last 12 double crochet in this chain you'll make one more double crochet for this pattern you'll make last 13 double crochet then make a double crochet three double crochet one double crochet three double crochet one double crochet three double crochet like this just keep doing with this pattern and complete this round we are at the end of the round here we have last double crochet so into this double crochet we'll make two double crochet one and make one more double crochet in the same chain two then next we have the chain space make a double crochet then here we have last three double crochet make a double crochet in each chain one two and Three. after making last three double crochet insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join the slip stitch then cut the yarn now we are going to start second last round with pink color Make a slip knot, insert the hook, you can take any chain, insert the hook into the chain and make a single crochet, then make two chains. Single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet. 
Insert the hook in same chain and make one more double crochet. After making first two double crochet, make two chains and make two more double crochet in same chain. One, two. Make this pattern. You make two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. Then yarn over. Now skip next two chains. One, two. Insert the hook in chain three. And again, make two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet. After making two double crochet, make two chains, then make two more double crochet in same chain. One, two. Then yarn over, skip next two chains, one, two. Then again, insert the hook in chain three and make two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet. Like this, we have to just repeat this pattern all along. Yarn over, skip next two chains, then insert the hook in chain three and make two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet. Keep doing with this pattern and complete second last round. We are at the end of our second last round. After making last two double crochet, you can see this. Here we have single crochet and two chains. Insert the hook in second chain and join with the slip stitch. In this pattern we have completed second last round. Now cut the yarn. And now you have to make the final round which is quite same as our second last round. We have to just change the color. We are going to make the final round with white color for this. First of all make a slip knot. After making the slip knot now insert the hook into the chain space. And make a single crochet. Then make two chains. Single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet. Now make double crochet in same chain space. After making first two double crochet. After making two double crochet. Now make two chains and make two more double crochet in same chain space. We have to just repeat that pattern. Then yarn over and jump to the next chain space. And again make two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet. After making this, jump through the next chain space and make two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet. Just keep doing with this pattern and complete the final round. So you can see this, we have completed the project. It's quite simple. I hope you like this tutorial. So we'll meet you soon with a new tutorial. Till then, goodbye.